Build in error handling for your Power Automate flows so they succeed instead of fail. This Power Automate flow had an error but still ran successfully. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build in error handling for your Power Automate flows using the configure run after option. Instead of receiving an email about a failed flow, your flow will succeed and notify you via Teams when an error occurs. This is a very simple flow that I've designed to move a selected invoice from the root folder into an appropriate year range folder. Although I can change this to move with a new name or replace, I want to show you how to handle failed actions. If a file with the same name already exists, I want to receive a notification from Teams. I have a flow with a scope action that contains all the actions I need to post an adaptive card. I'll copy the scope action to my clipboard and add it to this flow. A link to the adaptive card JSON can also be found in the description box below. Next, I'll edit the card title and card body. In the card body content, I'm going to include the file name and the folder path. I'd also like to bold this text. To do that, I'll wrap the content I want to bold with two asterisks on each side. My adaptive card template also includes a button, which I'll use to add a link to the folder where the file is. I'll change the button text and paste the link to the folder here. In the scope action, click on the three dots. Select configure run after. Uncheck is successful and check has failed. Now, this scope action will only run after the move file action has failed. Press done. Let's test it out. The flow ran successfully. And here in Teams is a notification. What other errors have you come across in your flows? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful or plan to start building error handling into your flows, please consider giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Power Automate tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.